This uh, is one of my favorite parts of the show. His name is Ryan Salazar. He hits the floor running every single day, and we're going to see what he has in store for us this time around. It's day three of the 2014 NAB show. Of course, I've got my top three picks, but we've got something else. Last night, I did a little inspecting, a little party inspecting. Let's take a look. All right, the party inspector here is checking everything out. Where are you guys from? We are from France. Uh, San Francisco. I'm from Seattle. <laughs> what you drinking? Champagne. Champagne. They're out of beer. Oh, you're out of beer. Well, it looks like we're going to have to go to another party. <laughs> Booth party inspector Salazar here. How are you guys doing? Hi. You having a good NAB? We're having good fun. Doing pretty well. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Ma. Actually, there isn't an audio problem. If there wasn't sound, we wouldn't be able to hear anything. What's picture without sound? So we're with Rick Belt of Electro Voice. How you doing, Rick? I'm great. How are you today? Great. So we wanted to talk about audio, microphones, mm -hmm. different types of microphones. What's, yep. what, you, what do you have here? Well, Electro Voice brand has been in the broadcast business and microphone business for almost 90 years. And we've invented a lot of the technology that uh, the broadcast business has been hearing, the end users have been experiencing for decades. Um, we specialize for broadcast in handheld interview mics like what we're doing now. Also stationary studio mics that are used in broadcast booths, right? For example, the RE20. It's industry standard. We've been listening to this in FM radio for decades. It is the sound of the classic FM broadcaster. We've got different varieties, the RE20, 27, and the new 320. So there's good variety. And I call the differences in microphones flavors. And it has a lot to do with the voice that you're capturing and the tone that you're looking to cap to, to express. Excellent. And actually, and actually, this mic that we're using right now in the interview is an Electro Voice microphone. Uh, it's, it's an older model or a newer model? Well, it's been out since the 80s. This is the RE50B, and this is pretty much the industry standard for what we're doing right now, which is, I call it stick on the street or man on the street or just stick mics in general. Um, it's omnidirectional, which means it's going to be generous in what it hears. You don't have so to. If have, I go like that, I'll yeah, go, you yeah. don't have to have the mic right up on me to get my voice really well. Right. But also, it has a magical characteristic where the ambience in the room is not overwhelming, even though it's omni. It's not hearing a lot of that stuff. So it's it's a very classic mic. Thanks a lot for stopping by. All right, bye bye. All right. All right, we're at vocalbooth.com. How are you, Guy? Good, Ryan. How are you doing? Doing very well. So tell us about your vocal booth. This happens to be a single wall model, multi-layer single wall model called the Gold Series. The size here is 5 by 6, but we do over 200 sizes, all the way up to 16 by 24. This has got a couple of extra goodies, a nice colored exterior, uh, orange Oralex interior with some black trim, and it also has a hardwood floor. Excellent. So you have ventilation systems and the whole thing, the whole nine yards. Every every one of uh, every all vocal booths come with uh, with passive active ventilation system, uh, complete lighting with electronic balance, so there's no interference on microphones, as well as all the cable passage ports. Hey Sydney, how you doing? I'm doing good, Ryan. How are you doing? I'm doing well. So we have Sydney from our production crew. You like the booth? It's amazing. I can stay here all day. <laughs> Very cool. So obviously they have some nice carpeting in here, the Oralex, and then the flooring as well. Very impressive guy, very impressive. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right, we're with Phil Worthington at the live stream booth. How you doing, Phil? Doing great, thank you. Excellent, so tell me, I'm looking at these glasses and these are the coolest things. If you could bring those up for our camera. Okay, so this is Google Glass. We launched today a new uh, uh, live stream Google Glass app so you can stream direct from your glass to live stream. Have your viewers chat with you uh, inside the lens of the glass. You know, this is a revolutionary point of view camera. Uh, stream direct to live stream with one click. Very cool. Now, you mentioned that you could potentially interact with this video switcher that you actually designed yourself, right? Right, exactly. So, so a second mode of the Glass app is actually that instead of streaming direct to the live stream platform, you can put it in a mode that streams directly to our live stream studio software. So this is a you know, multi-camera live production switcher. We're launching a whole new line of uh, hardware, software, you know, combination products. Um, and the Glass, along with iPhones, Androids, or our broadcaster, can all be used as remote cameras now alongside your SDI, HDMI workflows in here. 
And this is the new control surface. We launched this today. So again, tailor-made for studio, expandable. We have a second unit if you uh, need to use more tracks. That's excellent. Thank you so much, Phil. Channel Opportunity, the way to play in a digital world. That's what the 2014 NAB Show is all about. I saw some amazing audio and video products, met some really cool people from all over the world, and had a blast at NAB Show. I can't wait to see you next year. Ah, he totally got me with that microphone bit, but who knew Sydney was such a good singer? Ryan Salazar joining us now live on stage. You had some great segments this week. Thanks. Did you really have some good hands on time with these products? Yeah, I was really impressed with the AJA Scion camera and Evit Everywhere more than anything. And I have a laundry list of things I want to buy. I want to get that drone with a little GoPro attached to it for oh, some yeah. shots. Are you going to purchase anything the next year that you saw out there? I want the vocal booth that we recorded Sydney in. It was awesome. All right, Ryan Salazar, BroadcastBeat.com. Thanks so much for joining us this year on NAB Show Live. We do appreciate it.